All right, today we're going to be doing a GSEC tutorial and this time we're going to be doing a stacking effect, but the images inside the stacking sections are going to be masking. So as you scroll and stack and pin the sections, the images kind of shrink, if you know what I mean, kind of shrink. So this effect was inspired by this website. I will leave the link in the description below and I think it's pretty cool. So let's get into it. All right. So let's set up our server. Yeah. Let's go to servers. Let's launch a new one. I'm going to select an application and the application is going to be WordPress. Let's call it, what are we going to call it? Stacking and pinning. All right. I'm going to copy and paste the server name as well. And let's leave it here. Okay. I'm going to choose and leave DigitalOcean as my selected server. I prefer it. Let's go to two gigabytes. I would say and location. I'm going to go with Frankfurt because we are in Europe and closer to Germany. All right. I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Let's launch it. And now we're, we have to wait a little bit for our server to be added. So I'll be back ASAP. All right. So let's get access to our project, right? Let's go get in our backend. So this is where we find our uh, login details. Let's, let's get in there. All right, so let me just grab the password and I'm going to say hello, this and change here, yeah. login. Super easy. And uh, you know this, you know how you can log in. All right, so we are in. Let's go to pages. Let's see what we have here. Um, what we want to just do is create a new page. I'm going to add a new page and call it stacking. Okay. All right, let's publish. And what I want to do is what I usually do whenever I have a fresh install of anything, I go and add my, for example, plugins, which obviously it's very important. I'm going to add Elementor and Elementor Pro because these are the tools that I use all the time. Yeah. And yes, I always use Elementor Pro. I know that I should be mentioning this all the time because not everyone is either using it or knows that I am using it. So yeah, uh, it's, it can get tricky. Um, just go back, continue with hello team. I want to use the hello theme theme and skip and let's edit a blank canvas. So I use Elementor, Elementor Pro and the hello theme. That is a standard for me. All right. So what comes after that is secondary. All right. I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to add Elementor Pro and then we can start building our thing. So let's go back to plugins, add a new plugin, uh, upload plugin. I'm going to go with this. Voila. I might have to update it. Let's activate the plugin and voila. Let's also connect it. <laughs> there are a few steps that you have to take to have everything set up, right? or at least the basics. All right, we are connected. Let's go to pages and let's go to the page we have created. Go to uh, edit, edit with Elementor and we're ready to go. All right, I mean, we could also get rid of this heading, but I'm not gonna get into it right now. I just want to get started. Okay, so I'm gonna give this page a background. Let's go to style. I'm gonna say fully black, yeah, okay. And that's it. So let's add our first container. So I'm going to go and look for containers. So container, voila. And this container is going to hold our sections. This is going to be the parent container, full width and height 100 VH. And I am also going to go and uh, remove all the margins and paddings. You can do this actually from the site settings here. If you go to layout, yeah, you can remove the container padding, which I'm going to do because I hate that. I have to do that all the time. So container padding removed and save. All right. So let's go and add another container in here. So let me just add this to favorites container. Yeah. So this container is going to be one of the sections. So we're going to work on this container going to add all the elements, everything that we need in here, and then we're going to duplicate it twice. All right. 
So this is going to have a content width 100 VH, uh, 100%, and we're going to leave the minimum height empty. We don't want it. All right. So let's set the direction of the elements inside this container to be horizontal and space between them. All right. We're going to have two containers that will hold our elements, the image and the text on one side. All right. Let's go to advanced and I'm going to drop a class here, which is important to have on all these sections that are inside the parent container. I'm going to set the Z index to one and you will duplicate this container, but you have to change this here. So you have to add one Z index to each container. All right, because they come on top of each other. Yeah, they're stacking, they're layering. All right, let's publish. What I want to do is I want to go to styles, give this a background color. I have a color I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to go here and drop it like that. OK, <laughs> it looks weird, but it's OK. All right. So let's go to advanced again and I'm going to set the padding here. Right. Top and bottom is going to be 60, 60. Left and right is going to be 20 and 20. All right. So let's add our two containers. So I'm going to add the first container, uh, which is going to be in size 55 about here. Right. And let's make sure that, that the content is justified. Start. Yeah. All right. We can add our heading already and say this is heading one. I'm going to leave everything this the way it is. I'm going to just change the, the font here. It's very important. I don't have the font that I have on the other example, but let's just say, let's go with inter. Okay. Because this is a safe one. Let's go to transform uppercase and, um, let's say three. I think this is too thick maybe 500. All right, should do. Let's just change the color because it's not nice. And all right, I mean, an example, I have a very nice font, but that font is a font that I use on, I have uploaded in my Elementor, but I didn't upload it here, obviously. Uh, it's fine. I think this, it's okay. All right, so let's continue. Uh, we're going to add another piece of text here, which is a text editor widget. And I'm going to keep it simple, very short, very to the point. I'm going to leave that as Roboto and white as well. Let's make it a bit bigger, five or four. Yeah, it's okay. I think that should do for now. All right, let's add another container here. So this is one of the containers. Let's go in the main container section and we're going to add another container and this is going to hold our image. So let's look for the image widget. Uh, voila. All right. So I'm going to upload a few images in here. Okay. Well, let's go with this one here, publish and set the, the image resolution to be full style, full a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And um, let's go to set the height 100% as well and uh, object fit cover. All right. So that's it. That's it for this one. I want to go and add a class here for the image and the class is going to be image mask, right? So I think we are ready to duplicate. All right. So there's something else that I want to do here, but I'm going to leave it for now and we're going to change it to want to make the correction. So let me just go in the main container. Let me go to style. Let me go to border and I want to set the border here. So solid, it's going to be uh, the top border and I'm going to set this to be black. Okay. Now we are ready to duplicate. I hope everything is in order. <laughs> uh, let's go to advanced. And as I said, we need to change the Z index to number two here. And we also want to change the image. I'm going to go with this one and publish and let's duplicate again. 
and oops no change the image here with a new one all right so let me just say here two so we know where we're scrolling <laughs> although it's obvious because of the images but it's it just makes sense all right what i want to do before i add the css code first let me just go in the parent container and i want to get rid of this nasty gaps yeah we don't need them oh. already much much better and of course there's nothing now happening because we have any we don't have any code so first let's uh start with the code the css code that we need for the masking to be added in the parent container that is holding our sections okay so i'm gonna go and add it in a bit to advance go to custom css and i'm gonna drop it in here <laughs> and you see that our elements have already gotten a little bit weird yeah have shrunken a little bit just that's because the sections now have a height of 70 vh and you might wonder why I did it here with CSS instead of doing it natively in Elementor. Well, it worked better this way. Do not ask me why these things just work better if you hard code it sometimes. All right, because we don't know what exactly is under the hood and how things affect the code that we add with code that is already making Elementor and WordPress work. So yeah, that is one of the things that is a um, disadvantage when you're working with snippets of code. Anyway, so now we want to add our GSAP, all right? So let's go and add an HTML widget. Where can it be? Drag it in here. So I'm gonna grab my code and I'm gonna add it in here. All right, let me just open this up a little bit more. There are some comments here that I have left. Uh, I will delete this. This was another piece of code that I was trying it out. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error for this to work almost perfectly. It's still not super perfect, but of course it can be improved. And yeah. All right, so let's publish and let's have a look to see if it's working. Scrolling. Oh, it's working. Actually, it's working. Okay, I'm very surprised. Okay, yeah. But it's very nice if you have Lenis on the website because Lenis makes it so much better. As you can see, if I scroll, it's a little bit kind of like ah, laggy and not so smooth and interesting, you know. Lenis is so much better. So what I want to do, I'm going to add, uh, go to the container that is holding our image and I'm going to go to justify content and set this to, the, to be at the top as well as uh, the other container, which is already at the top. So do the same and do the same. All right, let's publish. And yeah, I think that's about it. What I want to do, I think I'm going to add Lenny's just for the sake of it. Quick look, it's fresh. Oh, yes, the smoothness. All right, so yeah, this is our effect. I think it's pretty cool. Of course, it can be improved uh, and this is a little bit experimental. I would not use it on uh, mobile devices because it's going to look quite not good. I would stack all the elements and that's it. So I will probably have the code with it being disabled on mobile. Just so you know, in case you're asking why it's not working on <laughs> mobile devices. Let me know if you have any issue, if you have found a better solution, improved solution to this example, but I think it's a good start. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.